fixed are on the double. You can go either direction with the fixed and then you'll be good to go. Hi, I'm Chris from Tiger Moth Racing and today I want to talk to you about something that is super handy in the shop space and that is mobile bases for machine tools. I want to talk to you about some of the reasons for implementing them in your shop. We'll give you a quick look at how they come out of the box and are assembled. And I want to mention a few things to keep in mind as you implement them in your workshop space. So to me, the beauty of these uh, mobile bases in the shop is it's a benefit for small shops and small equipment. Um, this machine here, this mill, weighs about 1,100 pounds. And I can move it around in the shop by myself really quickly and get it close to whatever operation I'm doing. Um, this allows flexibility. Uh, especially for small shops where you, you may be moving machines out of the way just to be able to take on a new project and then moving them back. You may be moving them uh, for every project if you're in a garage situation like that. Uh, it's an old system. Uh, a lot of the small benchtop machines were sold to be used on a cart. And a lot of times the, the, they would sell a wooden cart as an option with the machine. Um, so they were really intended to be used uh, in a factory. They're industrial machines, even though they're small. Uh, but they would be you know, bolted to the bench and then wheeled to uh, whatever area they were going to be used in for that production run. And when that was over, they would be wheeled to the next place that they were needed. So these two machines are good examples of mobile machines. Um, this is a little 7-inch Atlas Shaper, and this is a Burke Horizontal Mill. These are both industrial machines. They were built for factories, but they would normally be used on a cart and moved to wherever they were needed for that production run. These machines no longer had their carts or uh, were not sold with them originally, I don't know. So I have adapted them to these drawer cabinets with the mobile bases on the bottom. Um, this is a good combination option for having all the tools for one particular machine with the machine at all times and it's also mobile enough to put it wherever it needs to be. It allows you to set the machine up um, close to a workbench or another operation that you're doing. You may be doing a shaping operation on a part that's coming off the mill. You can move this right over to your mill and go from one machine to the next in a series to have your finished part come out uh, the end of your line. So this is the mini mobile base uh, made for smaller, lighter machines. This one is rated for 600 pound capacity. Uh, there's three different models. They're all um, listed on grizzly.com and probably other places. Um, but this is the, it's a ShopFox product. They're all welded, welded steel and uh, gray powder coated. Um, so the durability has been really good. I've been using um, a lot of these since probably the last six years or so. Um, they are a little bit uh, annoying to put together, but once you have it together and on your machine, it's, um, it's all about saving time and effort later. This one, I got this for 
the little corner notcher machine. So it's not gonna take much weight and it's not very big. They do come with two fixed casters and two swivel casters. So you do have to plan out and pick what side you want your fixed casters to be. I generally put those in the back, I guess vertically from the front of the machine. If that makes sense, I want to turn these around I'm going to do something like this and then we'll have this be the front up here. So I do recommend messing around with it and getting the, the orientation you want before you spend a bunch of time screwing it together multiple times. I'm going to put the swivel casters in the front on the side and the fixed casters are going to be on the side in the back. It's easier to grab the front of the machine and swivel it around where you want to go. So one thing I wanted to mention about uh, machines kind of like this one, uh, milling machines and lathes and things like that, there is a little bit of a stigma against mobile bases on some of these machines um, with the idea that by having it mobile, the machine is no longer leveled and is not as stable on the floor. And while I do agree with that, um, I don't believe that with most machines you are going to see any noticeable loss in accuracy. With the small castings that these machines have, you're not going to see any noticeable flex or twist from the unevenness of the floor. For the most part, the machine is not going to change. Um, these machines are just not big enough to allow the casting to flex like that. If you have a lathe in particular or a longer, a machine with a longer casting, I would take that into consideration. Um, you could always add leveling feet to this so that once you wheel it into position, you can then screw down the feet and level the machine uh, as properly as you see fit. So there's 17 by 15. mark the center and then this is the fun part getting both of them in square at the same time and we're looking for 17 which is basically there and here and then go around with the wrench and just snug them down they don't have to be crazy tight you just want them to bite in a little bit So very typical, I couldn't find my half inch wrench, so I'm using 13 millimeter. So fixed casters in the back, bolts on the top, nuts on the bottom. So this is the whole thing fully assembled and ready to uh, have your machine set on top of it. Um, one thing I did want to note is you want the swivel casters to be on the bolt pattern that's farthest away from the frame. Um, one thing I did wrong is I had the fixed casters here and if you have the swivel casters over here they don't have enough to, uh, room to rotate. So swivel casters are on the single bolt pattern. Fixed are on the double. You can go either direction with the fixed and then you'll be good to go.
So this machine is mounted and ready to go. It's mobile uh, to go anywhere in the shop. Um, the smaller machines are easier to put on the base. I was able to do it by just rocking this one back and then rocking it forward and, and back and forth a little bit. Uh, the heavier machines, you will have to pick up the machine either with a couple of pallet jacks or um, some hydraulic jack and some cribbing or shims under there so that you can build the base underneath it and then lower it down onto it. Um, that's going to be a little bit more involved and more work, a little more time. Uh, but once you have it on there, it'll be mobile and easy to move just like this is. The main goal for this is I can move this around anywhere in the shop easily and quickly without uh, putting much effort into it, without wasting any time. This allows me to create a small cell of different machines if I'm doing a particular setup of operations for a small production run. It also allows me to move them out of the way to clean. One of the common things is I'm always uh, reorganizing the shop to optimize for uh, efficiency and having enough room for equipment coming in and out and projects coming in and out. And uh, it just allows me to make a big space in the shop anywhere in a few minutes, as well as move things out of the way when I need to or get access to them. So I hope that our overview today gives you some ideas on ways that implementing mobile bases can help you if you don't already have some in your shop. Um, I do want to mention that they can give you the feeling or impression of having more space in your shop, which can lead, as most of us know, to purchasing more equipment. Uh, you do want to be careful to avoid getting yourself in the situation of, you know, playing a perpetual game of Tetris uh, throughout your day in your workshop. The idea is to make it easier for you to do things and not so that you have to move equipment to do every project that comes along your way. And I hope that uh, it just gives you some more ideas, some more flexibility with your workshop. And if you have any other thoughts or other products that you like that have made your workshop more fun and easier to use, uh, we would love if you comment uh, below so that we can check out those and uh, learn from you guys as well. Yeah.